viewers welcome to nobody asked this is our first video and as a team we are very excited to have you watch our channel feel free to leave comments in the comment section and please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel thank you very much i hope you enjoy the content we have for you most people keep on asking what's the best tv comedy series to watch some check on google some also check on their various movie critic sites like Rotten Tomatoes. some also tweet on twitter for suggestions we've sat down to choose our best nine tv comedy series of our generation something you can relate to in our modern times our criteria was based on how long it has been in the system and the type of content the recognition and the sarcasm level which is very important when it comes to comedy and also how it relates to our real life you know some of the tv comedy series that we watch are just too much comedy and it doesn't happen in our real life but always something you can relate to that's me your boy eddie wong check it 11 years old and moving from dc to orlando for number nine we have fresh of the boat this is a great series for the entire family no nudity nothing but full of comedy and things that you can relate to real life it's a series of a taiwanese family that moves into another state in the u.s and try to fit into the neighborhood we have the racist thing as usual we have the comedy we have you know the family things you know everything enough to suit your family you know you have nothing to worry about when the kids are around when watching this series the customer there is hardly anyone here and that table is only drinking water hey why you not drink beer me my american so you know in horror movies when the girl's like oh my god there's something in the basement let me just run down there in my underwear and see what's going on in the dark and you're like what is your problem call the police and she's like okay but it's too late because she's already getting murdered well uh my story is kind of like that hello I came home early. Jess! What? Um, I'm doing sexy things with the pillow. I'll pick that up later. It's Jess. That's why I need a new apartment. I'm sorry, what was the question again? For number eight, we have New Girl. It's a series of eight. Middle school teacher who just found out her boyfriend was cheating on her with another woman and how to move into a new apartment with three young men. You know, it's not very easy to live with men in this modern era. But it's not what you think it would be. It's really, really funny. You should go see it. Okay, this is what's going to happen. You're going to stand next to him and you're going to smile. You're not going to smile like that. You look like a hungry badger. Stop it. The family is one of nature's masterpieces. Come on, coach. You gotta take that kid out. You wanna take him out? How about I take you out? Honey. They're 0 and 6. Let's take it down a notch. This is the story of three very unique families. Oh, this must be her dad. Her dad? Yeah. Uh, no, no, that's funny. Actually, no, I'm her husband. Don't be fooled by the, uh... Give me a second here. For number seven, we have Modern Family. Three sets of families trying to raise up their kids and go through life events. A gay couple, which you should know what we are about when it comes to kids and stuff. Another man married to a young woman, which obvious happens of late. And a man married to someone quiet like a fan fuller. You know what I mean? It's very nice. The sarcasm, you know, the nerd content in it, the silly stuff. It's something you should watch. It's still running, so... I think there are more shows ahead for you to watch. It's not going to end anytime soon. We just adopted her. We bring her home for the first time, huh? Look at that baby with those cream puffs. Okay. Excuse me. Excuse me, but this baby would have grown up in a crowded orphanage if it wasn't for us cream puffs. And you know what? No, to all of you who judge. No. You small-minded, ignorant few. What? She's got the cream puffs. Oh. We would like to pay for everyone's headsets. And while they're three very different families... Why are you smiling? What? Dad, you have got to talk to Mom. Well, honey, your mom isn't always as cool about things as... Oh, what is with this thing? Ow! Count to three. One, three. two, okay. What the hell is that? Is that us 
with wings? Yeah, we're floating above her, always there to protect her. Okay, well, that's reassuring, right, Lily? Because we are going to win. Mm -mm. Time out, please. wait. Oh, you see your mouth is smelling. You are carrying toilets or piss lathering your mouth. Make I spread it. Please, please, I say student, I just do rag the peoples. That's all. Where is your mode of identification? Mood. I know. Mood nine. For number six, we have Jennifer's diary. A young lady who moves from the village to Kamsa City and survive, tries to go to school and all those stuff, but still end up to be a hairdresser. It's so, so, so interesting and very fun. And maybe to the viewers outside Africa, you might not understand it, but I'm sure they have subtitles to help you understand it better. It's one African series you should watch. Yeah, you can't skip it. Yeah, and you in the same category. No, let me start guys to my mind. You want to do yeah, yeah. You want to do billion friends. You want to do like a good time? Today is a good day. I know only surprise you. I will surprise you. Me the girl just so today. You calm down now. You, you don't trust me. But I'm not sure. Nobody's saying our neighborhood's a garden of Eden. But it's been a good home to me and my kids, who I'm proud of. Because every single one of them reminds me a little bit of me. What have you done? What have you done? You see? That's the problem with working. Too much instability. Number five is one of my personal favorites, Shameless. It's a family of about seven with the head, Frank Gallagher, who lives a junky life, full junky life. His children are black sheep. At any circumstance they find themselves, it shows the real hustling life of America and what the media doesn't show you. You should really watch it. It's very nice. But... You know, you can watch it when kids are around. A bit of nudity inside there. But it's a great TV show. Full of comedy. You should see it. Good job, Fiona. I don't know how I could do this without you. You're welcome, Dad. The further you run, the more I will kill you! Name a single time I've let you down. You're nothing like anyone I've ever met. Frank Gallagher, father, teacher, mentor, captain of our little ship. Good night, Daddy. For number four, we have the last man on Earth. A deadly virus wipes out the entire Earth, leaving a few people. But then they decide to start with one character who tries to do almost everything in the world. Being alone, destroying things, acting very silly. But then as the story goes on, they bring few characters inside and um, they decided to cancel the show but what they have so far i think you should see it you could just imagine especially in this our corona scare time what you could do if you're the only one in the world For number three, we have How I Met Your Mother, a story of a man telling his children how he met their mom, that's his wife. It actually took nine seasons for him to finish telling their story, which will tell you how packed it was. Funny events with a group of friends sent. If you're a womanizer, I think you should watch this because you learn a lot from it. The silly pranks, the silly stunts. It's so, so, so exciting. So, so nice. It's one series that you can get addicted to if you are working you are going to be like producing nothing i'm sorry i lied to you i'll tell you everything the whole story fine you have one minute before i walk out that door 
Um, it's uh, kind of a long story, Quinn. Gonna take a little bit longer than a minute. 52 seconds. Seven years ago, when Marshall and Lily got engaged, Ted saw Robin across a crowded room, and I said, oh, yeah, you just know she likes it dirty, but Ted really liked her, so we played, have you met Ted? They went to dinner, he walked her home, should have kissed her, didn't lame. So he stole a Smurf penis, went back to her place, should have kissed her, didn't lame. He threw three parties, they kissed on the roof, but decided to be friends, lame. Then Ted wanted to take Robin to a wedding. She couldn't go, he went alone and met Victoria. Didn't kiss her either, lame. Not a great closer, Ted. But he finally kissed her, they started dating, she went to Germany, Ted kissed Robin, lost Victoria, Ted did a rain dance. Scott Robin, Ted and Robin broke up, Robin moved to Brazil, came back with a Latin stud, Ted got jealous, got a tramp stamp, not really relevant to the story, I just like mentioning that as much as possible. I hooked up with Robin, Ted and I stopped being friends, Ted got hit by a bus, we made up. <laughs> Robin and I started dating, I got fat, her hair fell out. We broke up, Robin dated Don, I dated Nora, cheated on her with Robin, I dumped Nora, Robin dated Kevin, but not for long, and then I met you and you took my grandpa's watch, but I fell in love with you anyway, and you let me fart in front of you, and I asked you to marry me, and you said yes, and we came over here to meet little Marvin, and that's everything. Also, I went on the prices right, and I want a dune buggy. Goodbye, Barney. Goodbye, you... She lets you fart in front of her. Barney, you go get that girl. For number two, we have friends, a group of six reckless adults living in Manhattan. It's smart. I'm sure most of you have seen bits of it on TV because it's quite old. It started in the early, no, in the late 90s and ended in the early 2000s. It's, it's so, so, so funny. I'm sure most of you have seen it, but if you've already seen it, you should see it again because it makes you understand it more and appreciate the sarcasm sometimes. You should see it. <laughs> One across is Aegean, eight down is Nabokoth, 26 across is MCM, 13 down is, move your finger, Phylum, which makes 13 across, put a prince. <laughs> Papa Doc's capital ideas, put a prince. <laughs> Haiti. <laughs> so I'm sure most of you have seen memes on the internet, you know, trolling and all those things. Much of these memes have been credited to a character or the characters in this series, yeah, the Big Bang Theory, yeah. And if you love sarcasm, this is what you should watch. And if you are new to sarcasm, I think you should start watching this. You later on pick up and understand. This is like quite the best sarcastic series I've ever seen, yeah. And I'm sure most of you argue too. It's like those who have already seen it, yeah. So this is the Big Bang Theory, a group of nerds living in an apartment, and then a nice, beautiful lady who is quite um, not a nerd, you know, moved in, and you should know how nerds behave when ladies are around them. So the whole series is educative, all right, and really, really, really silly. You should see it. Yes, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I have a board. If you like boards, this is my board. I'm a Sagittarius, which probably tells you way more than you need to know. Yes, it tells us that you participate in the mass cultural delusion that the sun's apparent position relative to arbitrarily defined constellations at the time of your birth somehow affects your personality. What is a bit in the what? My stupid shower doesn't even work. Our shower works. It's right down the hall. Okay, thanks. You guys are really sweet. It has been some time since we've had a woman take her clothes off in our apartment. That's not true. Remember at Thanksgiving, my grandmother with Alzheimer's had that episode? That woman in there is not going to have sex with you. I'm a male and she's a female. Yes, but not of the same species. <laughs> Wait till you see this. It's fantastic. Unbelievable. You see what? It's a Stephen Hawking lecture. Before he became a pretty computer boy. 
Leonard has a lady over. Yeah, right, your grandmother back in town. Hey, is there a trick to getting him to switch from tub to shower? Oh, hi, sorry. Hello. Enchanté, mademoiselle. <laughs> Howard Wallowitz, Caltech Department of Applied Physics. Penny, I work at the Cheesecake Factory. Bon douche. I'm, s I'm sorry? It's French for a good shower. It's a sentiment I can express in six languages. Si gaton quai jiao. Hey, Leonard, can I ask you a favor? It's okay if you say no. Oh, I'll probably say yes. <laughs> There's apparently some sort of dispute with her ex-boyfriend. How the hell did you get in the building? Oh, uh, we're scientists. <laughs> My mom bought me those pants. I'm sorry. Do you speak English? He speaks English, he just can't speak to women. Really? Why? He's kind of a nerd. <laughs> Juice box. Our babies will be smart and beautiful. Not to mention imaginary. We hope you enjoyed this piece and thank you for watching. Please feel free to leave comments in the comment section and also suggestions on what we should make next in the comment sections. And please and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.